Hello, everybody. I am going to talk about transportation. Uh, think highways. Think logistics. Uh, Transportation-related industries account for up to a third of the gross national product of a modern country. Construction of highways and so on is based on an earth sub-base, and that earth sub-base is put there, and then the road is built on top of it, and you hope that the earth stays there. But the earth doesn't stay there. The earth doesn't cooperate. It wears away, it disintegrates in various places, and there's no way to tell where, okay? When it happens, after a few months, after hours, the roadway will suddenly collapse, a lot of expenses, um, property damage, fatalities. Um, in the case of uh, railways and airport runways, you don't need to have an actual collapse. Uh, simply a little bit of irregularity can make the train jump off the tracks. We see that in Thailand a lot. Uh, another thing we see in Thailand a lot is floods where the levee breaks and uh, villages and industrial estates can be inundated in a matter of hours. And the Ultimate problem is we don't, we cannot see what the condition of the road foundation is. We have developed a new technology uh, which can do that. Um, we have patents applied for. Um, we have a prototype uh, which we have demonstrated and uh, exhibited a, a, or talked about at a national conference. Okay, so this is very worthwhile socially. Question is, is it worthwhile economically? Uh, we analyzed one particular market region, uh, which was the US highway market, and came up with a figure of approximately $80 million a year. That's assuming a 5% market penetration. Okay, that's a billion dollars over the life of the patent for one region. So who are we? Uh, we are faculty in uh, engineering at King Monkut's University here. We have a lot of experience in geospatial computational analysis. Okay, the team that I, the two of us are the team at the moment. We do have other people in line to join us once we have financing. Um, we're looking for, well, we're investigating crowdfunding. I mean, I know that's a question that somebody is going to come up with here. We're not sure exactly whether equity funding, crowdfunding, reward funding, whatever is the right way to go, and we appreciate advice. What we need right now is uh, about $50,000 for immediate tasks. Um, this is heavy industry, and it's going to be a few years before we're cash positive if we actually manufacture the stuff ourselves. The alternative is licensing. But in order to get to the point of being cash positive through manufacturing, we need a million dollars according to our calculations. So uh, I'm curious, is what's your cost differential for a, say, a, a highway or a substrate that would utilize your product versus one that what didn't? I don't know if you cost it out per mile, per kilometer. Uh, what the cost is, and also what's the lifespan of your product in a substrate? Okay, um, I, I'm not sure that I exactly understand what you're asking, but let me take a crack at it. Okay, the um, cost benefit of this in terms of the cost of the damage as opposed to um, the cost it would put in is not relevant because uh, a highway department, for example, is responsible for making the highway safe if it's economically practical to do so. Uh, you could argue the traffic lights are not cost-benefit positive, okay? Maybe it's cheaper to turn them all off and just pay the in insurance, uh, you know, pay for the accidents. 
um, the, the U.S. Department of Highways is required to make the highways safe, or as safe as they reasonably can. So if we present them with a technology that can do it, and it's affordable, they have to do it. So what's the price? You know, I've got those numbers, but I don't have them off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Um, well, the thing is that what is really being detected when we're measuring, when we're looking for damage, is deterioration of the material. Basically, the material gets buried in the road, under the road, okay? And it's deterioration of it which indicates that there is stress in the road. Okay. So, I, I mean, I need money for research. And that's one of the answer, questions I can answer. As far as I can tell, there is no research that's ever been successfully done on what the life cycle of the deterioration of the foundation is. None whatsoever. The, the, the current, I said that there's, there's no way of measuring this now. In fact, there are ways of looking under the surface of a road right now. It involves things like uh, boring a hole, not so big around, uh, down through the road surface, uh, setting off an explosion down underneath it, and listening to this with microphones spaced around there. Needless to say, you don't cover very many kilometers per day doing this. Right? Our technology uh, is drive by. You measure it. Um, so, so you know, there's there's quite a number of unanswered questions. You know, and we are definitely looking for research funds, and uh, our university has agreed in principle to uh, conduct the next stage of testing if we can get funding uh, for that. That's King Monkut's University here in Bangkok. Any more comments from the floor? Everybody's getting tired. <laughs> well, thank you very much thank for the talk. Thank you pitch. all.